So today is Tuesday the or 2nd of June. I'm here at Bart's. Ready for my PET scan. Look at this view. St. Paul's right there. So I've had the injection done of the radioactiveness and now I just have to sit here for an hour and then I can have the scan done and go home. So yeah, just sit and wait now. Oh, it was quite interesting. When the nurse came to do the injection this alarm started going off and she said, oh, don't worry about that. It's just um, like a little alarm that she wears to let her know that she's close to the radioactiveness. And um, yeah, I guess because they're exposed so much every day, they need to be aware when they are exposed. So yeah, it was like beep, 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 beep. And then when she stepped away from me, it stopped. How weird is that? quite cool as well but yeah just sit here for an hour and then time for a scan mm, what's today Friday the 5th of June and I've got my winter clothes on it's freezing so bloody cold um, I'm starting treatment today so just about to head off to the hospital we're driving because I'm not sure if it's too safe to go on the tube with the virus and everything. Um, what time is my appointment? Three o'clock for my pre-assessment and then 4pm hopefully starting treatment. I had my scan on Tuesday but I haven't heard anything back so I don't know if I'm going to hear anything back, if I'm going to find out anything today or I just start treatment and don't know the result from the scan who knows um what else oh yeah i'm going to meditate try and protect my hair look at it it's getting longer every day i have to wash it every morning otherwise i end up with bedhead and i've eaten this morning so i've been doing some research into fasting there are a lot of people that fast for like 72 hours or something before chemo so that when you go for your treatment, the cells are hungry, like the cancerous cells are hungry and they gobble up the medicine that goes in. So I was considering fasting beforehand, but my parents weren't happy about it. A few of my friends thought it wasn't a good idea either. So I've eaten this morning. I had some... Um, rye bread with marmite i didn't realize that marmite was vegan and i had a vegan lasagna which i made at home last night i'm not strictly vegan just like cutting down meat no dairy etc so yeah i have eaten this morning um fasting i'm doing intermittent fasting on a daily basis anyway so i stop eating at about 7 p.m and then i'll eat at 11 a.m just to like give my body a break so it's not always digesting and to try and reduce like inflammation in the body um but doing fasting for like 72 hours is a bit extreme people will have water and stuff but oh, i couldn't do it yeah, just going to head off for treatment. I've eaten and maybe getting scan results. I don't know. All right, that's all. So that's it. First treatment done. Um, I had the atezolizumab with a Braxine. And it didn't take as long as I was expecting, actually. It was like an hour for the immunotherapy to go in. 
and then just half an hour for the chemo to go in. Um, so yeah, just slept through most of it and at the moment I feel fine. I'm just going to keep like positive mental attitude that I am going to keep on feeling fine. Oh yeah, I thought it was treatment every three weeks but it's not. It's going to be treatment every week. I don't know why. I didn't get any results either so I'm not sure what the results from the scan was but maybe someone will tell me soon. And ah yeah, um, the atezolizumab with the Braxine that I'm able to get, it actually became available on the NHS on like the 26th of May for people with triple negative breast cancer. So I'm actually so lucky that I'm able to get it and not be part of a clinical trial. Because when you, if you were to do it as part of a clinical trial, um, they obviously have two groups, like the group that get a placebo and chemo, and then the group that get the immunotherapy with chemo. So it's great that I haven't had to do it as part of a clinical trial and literally just came available on, on the NHS 26th of May. So, very lucky, very grateful as well. So that's it, first treatment done. Oh, that was my toes. Hang on, let's try the other foot. Woo, lovely. Um, blah, blah, blah. What is today? Saturday the 6th, it must be, of June. It's blooming and freezing. I'm still in winter gear. Um, so I had treatment, my first lot of immunotherapy with chemo yesterday. Um, and I'm feeling fine today. I was given some medication to take home which was just anti-nausea tablets and I was told to take them one a day, no, one tablet three times a day for three days and then they gave me like a, a pack of 30 so if I have more nausea I can continue taking them but um, do you remember at the beginning I said that a lady had got into contact with me to do a bit of work about positive mindset. So we had quite a few sessions together, but they have now stopped. And now it's up to me to put all, everything that she's taught me into practice. And she did teach me a lot. So I'm putting everything into practice. If I need her, she said I can contact her. But yeah, ideally I will be able to do things by myself. Um, but anyway, she told me, well, she taught me a lot about the placebo effect. So in medical trials, the placebo can actually be just as effective as the group of people that have the actual medicine. And she, um, if she has a headache, she'll go to her medicine cabinet, pretend to pop out a tablet and then take, pretend to put it in her mouth, take some water, and then usually her headache goes. So I haven't been wanting to take my anti-nausea meds, and if I've felt a little bit nauseous today, I've pretended to pop one, put it in my mouth, took some water, and yeah, now it's, I think it's half past nine, half past nine in the evening on Saturday and I'm feeling great I'm not feeling nauseous feel fine so yeah so far so good and I would like to stay off the anti-nausea meds as much as I can so I'm going to just hopefully trick my body every day into pretending to take the medication but yeah um that's all really I think I explained yesterday about the medication or the treatment is a bit different to how I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be once every three weeks I go for treatment. 
but it's not. It's actually going to be once a week for three weeks. Then I have a week off and then we start again. Um, so I'll be back on Friday again for more treatment. Um, I think that's it really. Just trying to keep warm. <laughs> so cold. All right. Uh, have a good evening, good weekend, and I'll give you an update next week, I suppose. All right, take care, bye.